Hey there, Silver Age Guy here, and today I'm going to show you my Daredevil collection. If you watched my first video, uh, you know that um, most of these books were bought off the rack at the Mars Drug Store, which was about three blocks from my house, back between 1962 and 1966. Um, others I'm trying to fill in bit by bit, but uh, most of these books were mine bought live back in the early 60s. So we start off with uh, Daredevil number one, which uh, is April 1964. Um, it's got a little bit of a tear in the, uh, the upper right corner, but other than that, it's, uh, it's in pretty good shape. And then we skip to number three. Nice cover. And then number four, the first uh, purple man. It's a nice run here. And then we have number five. I love this orange cover. Number five, really nice. Um, I don't have number six, but I do have the number seven, the new costume. It has little creases in it, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. Okay, so now we skip to um, number nine. It has a nice white cover, and I love this uh, great Wally Wood cover on uh, number ten. Great characters, great colors. And now there's a big gap. Um, I maybe kind of lost interest in Daredevil, so we have a huge gap between uh, these two issues up to number 20. Um, and I have 20 and 22, both from uh, 1966. Okay, number 27 is my first uh, 1967. Love this. Again, another yellow cover with great colors and still hand. Uh, and still in 1967. Another great Gene Coleman cover. Two covers by Gene Coleman. And now uh, we go to um, this very iconic cover by um, Gene Coleman in 1968. Most of these are eBay purchases, and here's a really love the colors here. Love the color of that logo. It's really nicely done. And then we skip to 52, which is a Barry Smith perspective cover, which I couldn't resist. It's 1969, out of my range, but I bought it anyway. And then we end with uh, Gene Colan cover, really nice job, with uh, with number 53. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. And up next are my pre-hero books. Lots of monsters and weirdness.